Welcome back to Q13 Fox News this morning. There's a good reason we're playing this song by the Black Eyed Peas because there's a good chance I'm going to be throwing down thousands of calories on Sunday. Probably 20,000 calories on Sunday during the Super Bowl. And Jill Sharp is here. She's a cooking teacher with LakeKitchen.com. She's uh, one of our regular guests here. And uh, I am so excited because you brought such a festive spread. And these little potato things look really good. So start us out. Okay. So all these are really easy to do. Um, and we have our kickoff potato sliders. So what we're going to do is take these potatoes here. Mm -hmm. And it's just, I like the little smaller russet potatoes because a few bites rather than a right. huge, you know, potato. Scoop it out after you bake it. Cut it in half. Scoop it out. Um, and then we're putting a little mascarpone cheese. So for those who haven't purchased that, what is, what is mascarpone? Mascarpone is like an Italian cream cheese. And they mm -hmm. have it all over the store. And it's kind of mm -hmm. what people are used to putting in tiramisu. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really good and nice Whoa. and creamy. I like to use it in place of butter. So what we have, what you're eating is the blue cheese and brown sugar bacon. Oh, my gosh. So that is you, so good. You take a little bit of blue cheese on here. And just crumble it up. And then the bacon, what we did is we um, put it on a baking sheet, topped, uh, topped it with a little brown sugar, and mm -hmm. then baked it. Oh. So it has that nice, sweet, salty. It's delicious. So oh. pop it in the oven. And then here we have turkey chili. So you just top it, you know, whatever chili you like on there. Pop it on there. And then, of course, you know, you top it with the regular fixings of a little bit of cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. And then you want to top it once that goes in the oven. You just kind of bake it off, top it with a little bit of a sour cream. Oh, that is and so then cool. a few chives on top of both, and you have a great, great So pre-bake the potatoes and then yes. just finish them off when you do it. Chill, those are just so finish them good. Off. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Yep. So that, that's a great one to start off here. And then you can move on. This one's a little more elegant, but it's basically pizza. So oh. everyone loves pizza, right? Yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we took little mini pitas. And you can find these at the grocery store. They're really nice because they're kind of a one-bite type of thing. So, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, there's a lot of people milling around on Super Bowl, so you don't want to have stuff that you really have to have a knife and fork with. So just a little bit of, I just make a homemade pizza sauce. If you have to use some in the jar, that's just fine. Um, but this is really easy. It's just wow. tomatoes, garlic, a little bit of ketchup, stirred down. And, and just simmer it for a little yep, bit? Yep, you're ready oh, to go. Cool. A little bit of fresh mozzarella on top. Is this the stuff that comes in like uh, liquid, the yes. fresh mozzarella? Yes, okay. the fresh mozzarella. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, I mean, whatever mozzarella you like, that's the kind I like. And then a little bit of fresh grated Parmesan over the top there. And that, just like these, just go in the oven under the broiler, let them melt down, and then you top them like we have here with a little bit of prosciutto wow. and a little bit of basil on the top, and you have a beautiful little bite size. Bite. That is so cool, and it's probably fairly healthy, huh? Yeah, yeah you know, I mean, too bad. Usually, and you know what? There's whole wheat pitas, so if okay. you wanted to go a little healthier, you could do that. And you know, when we're making our own sauce, it's not all that bad. I'm going to take you. a bite of this in just a sec, but you've got my six-year-old's favorite meal on the planet: little burger sliders. Yes, yes. So tell us you about know, those. the kids will love this. I know my nephew Cole loves burgers too. So, mm. um, what we have here: these are mm. actually um, beef and sausage. And we've taken a Hawaiian roll like this, and in our what we did with our mix, we have beef sausage, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of Worcestershire, we have onion, and then this is my secret ingredient. It Ooh. is a red wine vinegar. It's hmm. an artisan red wine vinegar um, from Mr. Vinegar. Um, you can find it at mrvinegar.com, but I love it. So take, uh, we have all that, just make a little patty. And that patty. just makes it a little more savory, right? A little yeah. zingy? Yep, yeah, exactly, exactly. Cool. It makes it makes all the flavors kind of meld together. And then what we did is caramelize just a few onions here. <laughs> and then we get ready for our sauce. So the sauce is what brings it all together. A little bit of mayo. We have a little bit of relish here. A pinch of salt and some ketchup. And... We'll get just a little bit of sugar, a little bit more sweetness in there. And my secret ingredient again, a so, little bit of the vinegar. Oh, cool. So this is kind of like a campfire sauce, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know what? It's nice. It's super easy. You can make it ahead of time. All these recipes, you know, some steps can be made ahead of time. So your Super Bowl day is not full of cooking, but full of good eating. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. Yeah, so you just kind of top it on there. And, of course, I like to put on... Well, you have the, the red or the yellow and the blue for the Colts and the Saints, you know. Go. Whoever you're going for. I'm going for the Seahawks, but <laughs> that's a long shot, <laughs> Better I think. Better luck next year. So did you, yes. make, did you actually make these little cookies here? 
Yes, yeah. I did. You know, and wow. they're very easy. So these are sugar cookies, and it's kind of nice to have something that people can either take home with them or they can just pull out of the grass and snack on it there. How cool. So is that wheat grass that you spread yeah. there? Oh yeah. My gosh. So these actually are just little, you can buy them at the store. They're only like two of them for $5. You know, and so it kind of looks like a fun festive thing. It's a great centerpiece if you wanted to do that. And they're just sugar cookies, and I iced them up, and you just stick a little uh, lollipop. Um, stick right on through it before so you cool. bake it. Yeah. My grandma Bailey, she is uh, 90 years old, and, and she she eats stuff like that. <laughs> and she may That's be watching I... <laughs> right now, but you can actually so they can eat the wheatgrass too. Yes, yes. Do your grandma eats the cookies or the wheatgrass? No, the wheatgrass. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was wheatgrass. gonna say my 90 year old no. grandpa ate the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> cool. Their own. Yeah, yeah. Is that it, Jill? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you want to make sure that you also have you know some nice cold ones here, mm -hmm. some beers and some diet cokes. You know, a little bit of water for those headed home a for tin. sure. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. So, Jill, everybody can get these on your website, right? Yep. TheLakeKitchen.com has all the recipes, all the photos, all that kind of good stuff. I'm, so, I'm so almost sorry that I couldn't just completely pig out because this is so <laughs> cool. But when we go to ad break, it's going to happen. So, TheLakeKitchen.com. Thanks so much, Jill. Good to thank have you, you on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.